Everybody thought, everybody knew that the V4 was actually the correct engine from an engineer's performance route. And then when we looked at it from a brand perspective, it seemed the very best engine. There's not really a proper British motorcycle out there. And you could look at a Ducati and take the badge off a tank or an MV, you know, it's very Italian. Japanese bikes have their own sort of design quality and, and you can tell what they are. But what's really British? We've tried to move the bar a little bit with this bike, with the chassis and the swing arm and the carbon and the electronics and a V4 1200 banging out north of 200 horse. But then you get the exclusivity and the hand-built British Norton that just kind of delivers everything with a little bit more swagger and, and a little bit more exclusivity than, than the mass market superbikes that are out there today. It's just a really evocative name and an evocative brand and I think there's a little bit of the underdog and, and the Dunkirk spirit about what we do here, taking on the might of the Japanese and BMW. And, and that's what it's all about. It's just a real British thing. We decided early on that, that we needed to go back to the TT. You know, we won the first one in 1907 and we wanted some pedigree and to be building some information about modern sports bikes. And the, the best place for us to go and do that was the TT. The results are there. We came from 18th to 7th with the same motor, so we had the same power. We developed the electronic package. We were able to engineer frame stiffness and characteristics into the bike, and we produced the fastest British bike ever around the Isle of Man. It's a very, very pure development process that we've done at the TT and road racing. We're doing 80, 90, 100 mile an hour sweeping right left turns going over the bumps and then getting the power on at 100, 120 mile an hour etc. So when we say we, we're race developed, we're road race developed. I think the stance of the bike, the quality and the details are, are far and above. I hope that anything else that other people are putting out at the moment, I want to be able to see something new on the bike every time you walk up to it for years to come. It's a very, very special product and, and something that will move that kind of superbike on a little bit in the marketplace. So we're quite excited to, we're very excited to bring the bike forward and, you know, we, we can't wait to get it out there and, and get some sold delivered and see what the guys think of it. But, but for us, it's an incredibly exciting bike and another chapter in Norton's future.